Hello everyone, my name is Ardith, or welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my settings for NVIDIA Freestyle, as well as Cernia's from the DPIP squad. Be warned, Cernia seem to only work for specific monitors slash colour profiles, so if his don't work for you, don't worry, mine will, as they aren't colour dependent, they're purely brightness dependent. So, that being said, let's open up the menu with Alt and F3. If you don't have this, then I have two videos linked in the description on how to get this. And we're going to start off on Style 3. You can start off on any one you want, but I have my one and Cerny is saved in 1 and 2 uh, respectively. So I'm going to start off with a blank template of 3. So, for my settings, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Contrast, then add that by clicking the plus and make sure your gamma is on 92.5% and your contrast is on 82.5%. Now what this has done is effectively made the game a bit brighter without blasting everything out and making everything whitewashed, so this effectively makes it easier to see in dark corners and doesn't make it even harder to see people if it's in a bright scenario. Um, next you want to go down to this drop down box again and go to details and then once again click the plus icon to add it onto your game. And from here, you want to set the sharpness to 65%, the clarity to 100%, and the HDR toning to 72.5%. Make sure to keep the bloom at zero, it's not really helpful. And that's it, these are my settings, and if you need it to be a bit brighter, then you can crank up the HDR toning to 100, but I'd like to keep it a little bit lower than 100, because at 100, the contrast seems to dip a bit, which means it can be harder to see people, um, whereas if with 72.5%, you do retain a fair amount of contrast. Um, and if there's not enough contrast, it does be it does become a bit counter counterintuitive, you know, you can't really see people too well, because all the colours sort of blend in. So. I think this is the sweet spot, but once again, you can crank it up if you want to, turn it down if you think it's too bright, but I don't think that would be the case. So nice and simple here, and as you can see, we've got the clarity um, getting rid of any fog, and well, it doesn't get rid of fog, but um, it gets rid of the blurriness applied from fog, and it also you know, sharpens the edges of foliage and stuff, so you have an easier time seeing people through it, and it just gets rid of any blurring effects that you can really see, and makes it so much easier to spot people. That being said, Cernia's settings are nowhere near as simple as mine, and let's jump straight into them. So the first thing you're going to want to do for Cernia's settings is go to Exposure and add that. Now you want to set the Exposure to 80%, the Highlights to 80%, and the Shadows to 100%. Now once again, that's made the game brighter as you can see. And next you want to go to Contrast, not black and white, you want to go to Contrast, add that into the game. Now his settings for Contrast are both at 100%. And as you can see here, it's for me on my monitor it's starting to look a bit whitewashed, you know, David's face is sort of blending into the background a little bit. Um, but I think this there might be more settings that might fix that. So next up is Details. We click on the drop down box, add details. Sharpness is going to be at 100%. His clarity is going to be at 100%. His HDR toning is only going to be on 37.5%. And once again, the bloom is going to be on 0%. Next up is color. He's going to add color here. And we're going to set the vibrance to 27.5%. And the color enhancer to 100%. And finally, the last thing we're going to do is add adjustments once again. And then we're going we're gonna to go to brightness, keep that at 50%. Contrast, that's going to go down to 50%. And the vibrance is going to go up to 100%. So as you can see, it's very, uh, well, saturated, I guess. And I guess the idea here is to make it easier to spot prestige people um, with the blood becoming a bit more... Um, I guess saturated once again, easier to spot. Um, I feel like because of how intense it is, you can see the game sort of looks yellow overall for me at least. Um, it does make it harder to spot people because you can see the sky and the trees are a bit yellow. And now all the skins are really as well, so it means it's going to be easier for them to blend in. For me, might look different on different screens. Um, Cernia swears that this is absolutely perfect for him. So... Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. 
If you did, be sure to follow me on Twitch so you can catch up on all my streams. Once again, YouTube isn't really my focus anymore. So once again, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.